Welcome to this presentation entitled Serving Congregations in a Changing World, Working Together Through Cluster Formation. This video was created by the Cluster Task Force of the Surge Transition Team. It is part of our ongoing effort to inform, educate, and inspire congregations in the Central East region. Our goal is to strengthen each congregation in our region and in so doing, help to deepen and widen our Unitarian Universalist faith. A critical component of the regionalization movement currently underway in the Central East region is the formation of clusters of congregations. The Surge District Board and staff see cluster formation and support as a major priority and a focal point of the energy of Congregational Life staff. Simply put, a cluster is a group of congregations that come together to share ideas, inspiration, and resources. There are already several cluster groups meeting in our region and other congregations that have begun various kinds of collaborations. Our goal is to involve every congregation in the Central East region in some type of collaborative group, being interconnected all across the region from eastern Ohio to the tip of Long Island, from the St. Lawrence Seaway to northern Virginia, so that eventually all congregations will be connected in a web of support and shared resources where everyone wins. Clusters are a flexible and responsive way to build relationships, pool knowledge and resources, and support one another as we work together to change the world and build the beloved community. Whether congregations are grouped geographically or come together around a particular affinity, the benefits are many. The ability to bring together the collective wisdom of multiple congregations so that individual leaders no longer need to work alone, but can work with others who share similar responsibilities in other congregations. The experienced can guide the newcomers. Those with special knowledge can teach those who don't yet know. The initiated can offer fresh perspective, energy, and ideas to those who are new to the process or still learning. Showing unity at important social and economic justice events and venues, increasing the public presence of Unitarian Universalism as a liberal religious voice in their communities and states. Congregations will benefit by enriching each other's programs and organizations and blending common activities and training opportunities through shared worship, shared curriculum, and shared resources. Siddhartha, the founder of Buddhism, wrote, Thousands of candles can be lit from a single candle, and the life of the candle will not be shortened. Happiness never decreases by being shared. Another benefit is the collaboration on marketing and outreach strategies will bring more visitors to our doors and enhance the visibility of the congregations in the local community. Examples include joint advertising and targeted media and markets and creation of cluster websites. And collaboration through cluster formation provides a tangible way for congregations to learn how to work together in sharing the message of Unitarian Universalism in their local communities and beyond. Here is one way that cluster formation might look as the regionalization process moves forward. As part of the move to a primary contact model of staff development, each full-time congregational life staff would work with a group of congregations consisting most likely of three or perhaps four clusters, depending on cluster size. Our research suggests that a good-sized cluster can be anywhere from six to twelve congregations in size. CERD staff would work together with leaders in the congregations to determine the most logical grouping of congregations for clusters, based on geography and or affinity and or common mission focus, regardless of their former districts. Congregational life staff serving as primary contact would act as midwife to new clusters. Charged with giving birth to the cluster, staff would meet with clergy and lay leaders, explaining the benefits of cluster collaboration, invite congregations to initial meetings, and offer advice and counsel concerning possible organizational and communication structures. Staff would also help recruit and work with one or two volunteers in each cluster who would become the facilitators or leaders and communication hubs of the cluster. These facilitators would receive ongoing support from Congregational Life staff. Continued direct involvement from surge staff would depend on the needs of the cluster, but clusters would always be able to count on staff as a resource and to respond when needed. For clusters already in existence, of course, Congregational Life staff would provide ongoing monitoring, support, and needed resources. We hope that you enjoyed this brief look at what is possible as Surge board members and staff look to a bright future for our region. Reaching out, joining together, sharing our strengths. 
Cluster formation is just one exciting way in which Surge is finding new ways to serve congregations in a changing world. For more information, contact us at www.surgeuua.org.